Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Roleplay Solo. My name is JP McDaniel, joined by the rest of the cast per usual. We're going to switch it up a little bit this week, though. Uh, someone made the suggestion last week. It might have been an AMA. I'm not sure where it was. It might have been a YouTube comment. Uh, but they were saying that we should do shout outs at the start of the show because on YouTube, you get that seven days from now, right? Oh. Uh, so then when people want to watch stuff that you guys are doing, it's already wow. happened. That's a really good point. It's a really good fucking point. I never thought about that. So <laughs> we've been doing uh, it for like two years. I never <laughs> thought of that. Yeah. I thought you had a, a very legitimate reason not to do it that way. No, I just did it because usually you do shout outs at the end of the show. <laughs> I think shout outs at the end is is like It's I like quintessential. Like it what what, Ryan? What'd you say? I said I still like it better at the end. Well <laughs> I s- I, I mean, you can you feel free. Feel free if you don't want to shout it out. JP goes, no. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm just saying your fans might care because then they're not gonna be able to notice or, or know what you're doing until it's. Well, already Ryan happened. doesn't care, obviously. Ryan doesn't care about his fans. Is what? No, no, I care, man. No, no, no. no I just care it. more about the ones that want to be here live and in person. You know. I get that. I get that. Uh, so what yeah. Saying, yeah. Fuck YouTube. I think so. Uh, it's not so many words, yeah. I think so. I think that's what you're saying. Cool. Cool. Well, anyways, feel free to do your shout outs now uh, and maybe talk about what you're, what, what's coming up on your schedule. Uh, but we'll also just do it at the end of the show. So, Ryan, sir, what have you been up to? Uh, shout out to YouTube. This week I'm going to be <laughs> um, answering angry fan mail. Nice. Live on stream? Busy on Thursday nights. Live on stream? Yeah. Okay. Um, what have I been up to? Uh, I tried out the new uh, Ghost Hotel for Battle Royale. Yep. And uh, that map is pretty fun, man. Pretty fast and furious. Not a lot of camping. A lot mm-hmm. of slaughtering. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've been doing that. Um, you know what I've been doing also recently? There's a guy who's just now, I think just now, started streaming on Twitch. His name is Jay Carver, and he's a poker player. And I've always oh, that's the wanted... guy I linked to the other day. Yeah, I've he's always for a while. wanted to play poker on Twitch, but I didn't know like if that was legit or not. But watching him, it seems like it is legit. So I might. That's the guy Greetorp works with, you know. Is it? I I yeah. did not know that. I, I knew they were affiliated somehow because he was talking about Greetorp setting up his his shit. But like, I have a whole poker Skype group filled with like tons of people in it. And we play, we just don't stream it. So I might. Well, don't start those streams? The stream sniping will be real. I mean, <laughs> of course there. Poker. Well, the, what we do is uh, so mine is different than his. What we do is we play with Zoom up, and you must. The rule is you must have your webcam on if you're in the hand. Uh, so it kind of simulates as close to live as we can. Um, so uh. it's it's only people in the Skype group, and then put a little delay or whatever if I streamed it. Okay. He also has a card protector. When he's got a yeah, hand. he's got the little thing up there. Yeah, he'll put an icon over the overlay. Oh, smart. smart. Indeed, it's a lot of fun to watch. He did a uh, his run it up series is him starting off with That's like what I was watching. Yeah, or saw like a second of, but please, yeah, it's like ten explain. bucks or fifty bucks to ten thousand. Something <laughs> like that. Wait, ten thousand a hand? That's what? That's what? It no, is? no, no. He started with like fifty dollars or a hundred, and he's going to turn it into ten thousand. Oh, yeah. oh, he does that once a week? No, he's been doing that for like a year. It takes a long time to earn that much from yeah. that little bankroll. Oh, okay. I think uh, Chris Ferguson did one starting with no real money, played only free rolls, and then turned it into 10K. That's silly. <laughs> How the hell did he do that? I mean, think if you're like a multimillionaire, right? Like you just do things to amuse yourself, I guess. Yeah, yeah no, no. How, how, dude, how, like, how did that? He just played well? Yeah. Like, you have to be really regimented. Like, only enter a table with 10% of your bankroll. Things, you know, like rules and then yeah. playing. And then you just build up. There you go. It's really fun to watch, and he's a great poker player. I've, I've been watching him for a while. Uh, it's just, I like to watch a lot of streams in the background. And he actually, and a lot of people love this, he never stops talking. He fills up the airtime, like, no yeah. doubt. So it's, Absolutely. And like I said, that's that's like a huge plus for a lot of people. So I'm not hating. But for me personally, it's like, all right. I gotta go now. <laughs> there you go. Cool, cool. Uh, Ryan, yeah. what what's coming up on your schedule? What are you doing in the future? Uh, Let's make this well, organic uh, and natural as possible. I'm, 
I'm going such a to random be... question that I'm asking you, Ryan, what you're doing in the future. Yeah. The next couple of days. Um, you know, you'll just have to find out on Twitter now. Uh, oh, wow. Um, towards the end of October, I'll probably be doing scary games, but I hate scary games, man. They stress don't me out. Don't play but... Evil Within. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you everybody in my stream play? yesterday, by the way, were saying, Maybe. play it. JP loved it. And then a bunch of people were like, no, he didn't love it. Yeah, you uh, should actually so play I'm... Duck Dynasty instead. It's the, it's the newest <laughs> hot game. I watched you do that for a couple minutes today, and I was like, eh. It's the newest hot game. It's, very it's based on the show, game. isn't it? Oh, yeah. My yeah. God. It's great. <laughs> it's great. But, uh, but yeah, so um, I'm going to be doing that. I'm also going to, since I don't really enjoy the scary games myself, I'm going to be bringing in like guests to come in and get scared as well so that I don't have to endure that as much. Okay. All right. So basically, you're just going to make money off of someone else? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'd pay the them. Internet prostitution. But, but you got to outsource, man. Like Sure. Oh, <laughs> Indians, then, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes, exactly. There you go. There you go. Uh, what are you streaming? Are you, I guess more Ghost Hotel and stuff like that in the future? Uh, Yeah, I've actually been streaming League, but I get like shit numbers when I play League, so can't that's do that hard, That's a hard time. market to break into. That's like the yeah. WoW world to break into, streaming WoW. It's very... I just, I, I like League. Like, League is my backup game. Like, when there's nothing that I really want to play, uh, I'll just play League. I think someone, I think it was Lethal Frag tweeted, or I, I don't know how he got the stats. Maybe they're pretty easy to get, but he, he did a random, like, game to stream ratio, uh, or, or I guess number, uh, at like midnight one night. And mm -hmm. League had like over 600 streams for it or something like that. So that's oh, yeah. a, that's impossible to crack. Dude. Very saturated market. You need to be like super entertaining or a uh, pro or a grill, yeah. which can also be entertaining. There yeah. you go. A grill? A grill, yeah. <laughs> On Inanimate stream? objects turns out pretty decent at MOBAs. There you go. There you go. It's cool. Because MOBAs don't. Never mind. Never mind. Nope. Just I'm gonna cut you off there. Uh, Jeff, what's been going on in your neck of the woods, man? Uh, last weekend I went home and saw some family, which was nice. Um, then I threw out my back, which is not nice. So I've been walking that around sucks. like an old man. That sucks. Yeah, it's fine though. Today I woke up and it was a lot better. So I'm what is that right actually direction. like? You just can't like bend. What? What does it mean? Uh, actually, I just described it for Anna last night. It's it's like imagine someone with infinitely strong hands very specifically pushing into your lower right hand back like just pushing in so you walk like a uh, and if you try to push against it it's just nerve pain it's just like oh, it's just nerve like a shot of pain okay yeah all right that sounds terrible yeah it's pretty bad because <laughs> you use your back for a lot of things as it turns out so there's a couple times like rolling out of bed where i like ninja turtle like not even ninja turtle i just like turtled it where i was like rocking back and forth and then like <laughs> kind of like like Built up the 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 will to be like, all right, this is gonna hurt, you know, like <laughs> so a lot of that. But otherwise, fine. Um, and as far as uh, things coming up, I will be tomorrow. I guess this is super recent or super See, and then on point. YouTube wouldn't catch this. It wouldn't catch this. There you go. Uh, I'll be casting the uh, North American Up and Comer tournament that Fear Dragon puts on. So I'll tweet about, it, of course, as Ryan said, keep your eyes on the Twitters. Casting that, and then uh, Warhammer this weekend. That's the most immediate future. But other than that, just chilling, streaming, and having a good time. Happy to be here. Cool stuff. Neil, how goes wedding planning 2014? As if this is an annual event. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's going pretty well, actually. Things are, are coming together nicely. We talked with a photographer, who's the same guy who did our engagement photos, and we're all happy with that. And Everything seems to be chugging along pleasantly. And... That's, That's when you have to be most afraid, though, because now something's coming. You just don't know it yet. I know. I know. <laughs> Jeff's like that grizzled old war veteran. That <laughs> I've been story. through hell, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to a photographer tomorrow. He's going to turn out to be a cannibal. Yeah. yeah. You have to make a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I've also decided that I prefer the individually packaged Swiss Miss hot cocoa versus the bulk Safeway hot cocoa. Uh, it turns out that this is actually better, even though this is cheaper in volume. Do you? Uh, volume. Is it just That's crazy? Little, is it the little it's, packets of Swiss Miss? Is that what you? Yeah, got? like the little packets that come in the box. I had a, with, you know, I, I bought a. I had to get a new Keurig because my coffee machine broke. But they they packaged in Swiss Miss K cups, which is little uh, like the little thing you use for the Keurig or whatever. Yeah. I gotta say that the packets are better. 
The packets are the a little packets better. are better because yeah. it doesn't mix properly, uh, and you have like some sediment at the bottom when you get to the bottom of the hot chocolate. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. kind of gross. It's kind of gross. You got to do the the swirl. Well, I know that. I, 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 it doesn't matter. It didn't matter. I don't. Maybe, maybe it might have been old because it it said that I was like one of the first ones to get this Keurig machine that came out like two years ago. So it was probably just sitting in a while. <laughs> <laughs> for the they're, past two years. They're crossing their fingers like, God, I hope that doesn't poison him. I hope he comes back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. I don't. It came from somewhere in, off of Amazon. Who knows where it actually Yeah, I'm going to rejoin real quick. I can't see Neil on webcam. Okay. All right. All right. Ryan's out. Fuck this show, he says. Neil, what else? Um, do you know, that's pretty much it. We had Cody Connors on Love Bites just a few minutes ago, which was fantastic. He did a, a pretty good job. His intro was fa uh, amazing. And uh, that's pretty much been it for what I've been up to. But coming up, we have, uh, what is it? Honor Bound on Sunday. And then we'll probably have Dicing with Death Wednesday or Thursday whenever Roleplay Solemn isn't next week. Cool. And uh, we're looking to start Age of Strife in December now. There's just, there's no way to start it ahead of time without pulling a swan song and have like, you know, three Whoa. or four weeks with no episodes. Whoa. That's true. Yeah. Neil, uh, so when's, we're waiting. When's next we're marathon, waiting by the way? How come you got off the marathon? Game? Yeah, where's the, when's the marathon? Because I can't do like a four day. I can't like ignore wedding responsibilities for four or five days straight anymore. You You're know, blaming on your wedding? Yeah, I'm blaming it on my wedding. Are you kidding? Oh. I can blame anything on the wedding. That's pretty true. That's true. That's yeah, the new rap thing. Just blame it on the wedding. Yeah, it's just coming. It's fantastic. Out. But I do want to do. We'll probably do like a a two or three day marathon in November and then another three or four day one in December just for shits and giggles. Okay. Uh, but I it have won't an be incredible like a, idea. a six day attempt. Yeah. You should do a 140 hour marathon that ends the uh, on your wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, <laughs> Jeff, the, the goal of your wedding day is to make it one of the most memorable <laughs> things ever. And he won't remember that he even got married. <laughs> He's It'll like, be memorable for everyone super else. Super fucking insane. Like, he's just, just like I lathering. He's just like, <laughs> back. It's like nail, nail, fuck. <laughs> quick. Yeah, well, I dip your head nice water, Neil. You got to say do, and then you're good. That's all you got to. <laughs> we end marathons at noon, and I'm getting married at one, so there you go. There that you gives go. me time to get from wherever yeah. I'm staying to the venue. There you go. I would expect <laughs> this to happen, guys. This is a real thing. The other question is, you know, uh, recently Maximus Black streamed his wedding. Are you going to stream your wedding, Neil? Did he did really, he though? His... Yeah, he really streamed it. his wedding, yeah. Oh, my Lord. How many views did that shit have? It had like about 10,000, 10, 12, wow. 12, I didn't even I hear about peak. that. Yeah. I was watched that live. It was like yeah. two weeks ago or a week ago, something like that. Oh. A week ago or something. Yeah. I have very little intention of publicly <laughs> streaming my wedding. I may do some sort of private stream for friends and family who can't make it, but I okay. really don't think there's. You're not going to be... put a like a GoPro on top of the veil and just let her. Oh, that would have been so first person shit. perspective wedding. Yeah, I like <laughs> that. we'll get scoots to like trick out the production. Well, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. People are saying bows. Can you get the wedding commentator? <laughs> yeah. Is yeah, it? then we we can have JP and Jeff like host the stream and commentate yeah. as it's going. <laughs> Me and do... Jeff will just get pissed drunk and we'll just be like, "Welcome, guys. We're watching Neil get in. I what, Jeff? What are we here for? <laughs> Wearing white, and black. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. Be good. Yeah, we that's my go. plans for the foreseeable future. Cool, getting married. Cool stuff. Last but not least, Jen, what's going on with you? Ah, what's going on? Um, I just came back from, well, I came back from New York on mon Monday. Yeah, that was awesome. ESL1 and Comic-Con. And yeah, it was really cool. I saw a Star Trek uh, like show, like music concert thing. And it was, it was one, like, no, no, like a, like a live band that did all songs like Star Trek. And it was freaking awesome. I don't it, even know what that means. How, how do you sing a TV show? What do you mean? Well, they like... Like the sing. songs from Star Trek? No, but like they changed the lyrics to like refer to Star Trek. So instead of saying like Roxanne, they said Spock's hand and then a burlesque dancer oh, would show up. Oh, a huge Spock's hand. <laughs> it was see. really cool. I see. One of the really good shows I've seen lately. That was awesome. Can't remember their band's name though. That sucks. That sucks. Um, 
What else? What else? Um, dip, 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 dip. We launched the Rainbow Six vlog, which was the secret announcement we were planning. Uh, so there was a video involved with that, featuring me saying what the blog is about. And then we launched our first article on why we chose to have One Life on Rainbow Six. And then it got picked up by a bunch of sites like Kotaku, PC Gamer, GameSpot, IGN. So that's really exciting. Hashtag comdevs. And yeah, that's about it. That's really awesome. Oh, and uh, coming up, I have... Uh, 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 the roleplay charity stream with you guys. Yeah, it's true. So you should totally donate to that. So my thing is www.extra slash life.org slash participant slash live in pick. And then you can make stuff happen with my character. There you including go. kill the current ferret that I have because we reached a goal. And if you donate more, I can kill it. If you don't want me to have it, just donate more <laughs> money. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and oh, I'm going to BlizzCon. So if you guys are going, come say hi. Cool. I forgot to put up your card. So let's just just sit there for like 10 seconds. I want to be quiet. Jen can just look at the camera. <laughs> and freeze frame. And all right. Cool. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. I guess for shout outs, what's coming up in the future? I think the only thing that I have to promote is Swan Song next Wednesday, the yeah. 22nd. Is that Wednesday? Yes. 22nd, 8 p.m. Uh, someone said that we were going to do five hours. I don't know if we're actually going to do. We're going to do four hours. It's an eternal rumor. At least four, maybe five. That's what. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Internal, uh, not eternal. That's weird. Internal, yeah. Eternal, maybe. I guess. I guess it could work. Goes on forever. And then. Eternally uh, internal. We talked about doing two nights in a row, but then I vetoed that because I'm not going to do 17 hours worth of role playing in three days. Uh, because <laughs> next Friday we've got nine hours of uh, charity role play starting at one o'clock Eastern. Like Jen was saying, you can go and uh, check out all of our links for the Extra Life uh, page where we all have different goals and things that will happen to our characters, both in game and. I think, is anyone doing anything like out of game? Like you have to wear something or anything like that? I, no, I, but if someone donates two thousand dollars, my character turns into God. Nice, nice. That'll be who, so, who's your DM? Uh, Neil. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Spec person the you, third. How, <laughs> how can we do a stream where it's possible that you turn into a god? If someone donates two thousand dollars, I turn into God. All right, we'll figure it out. Someone go yeah. donate that money so that we have this problem. I'll have give you my list of powers when I get that. He Yo. can get a combat shovel. Gods can, can't be killed, probably, but they can be, like, summoned to an extra dimension or something. And no, 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 not gods. Trapped forever. Literally god. He'd just be god. Like, not the a god, god but just yeah. god. Uh, so, yeah. I need to actually... Well, whatever. I'll do that off stream. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, go check that out. It's over at the top of the subreddit. And yeah, I don't have much else to promote slash shout What's, out. What? Praise be to Warrior Jesus. Someone said that was awesome. Fucking Warrior Jesus. Fucking Rod. Fucking Rod. Neil, let's uh, let's play role play song. So where last we left, the party was in the woods, looking for this strange portal, and you had just faced off against this large grizzly bear with curved ram horns and great black wings. Great brown leathery wings, I mean. So basically it wasn't a bear at all. Well, it had the body of a bear. Hmm. Um, did you show us a picture of it from the DM book? I might. I think he did. Sure. Okay. I'm just using the picture in the physical description from the book. It actually doesn't have the stats of the character in the book. A lot of people were complaining about that. Here, I think God. he... he uh, Faced off against oh, us, God. we God. dispatched him easily. He tried to yeah. escape. He was shot out of the sky, mm -hmm. uh, quite epically, and well, <laughs> we murdered him. Simple. Yeah. yeah. So now you guys have jogged up to the bear's corpse, and you stand over it uh, as it gives its final death throes and stops twitching. Holy crap! It stinks. I mean, it's it's not that bad. It uh, good, but Marius, good shot. That was a very well it could be worse. shot. I enjoyed that shot. He was quite clumsy in the air. Are we supposed to find the portal? 
I think so. I, I, do you know where it's at? Has, is there, did you see a sign? Anything? A sign that says portal over here. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Do they do that? Uh, Neil, do I still have my spell on? Like the locate creature spell? No, that is long dead. Just to, just to clarify, Neil, we're supposed to find the portal, go in, and then kill whoever's sending the displacer beast, right? Yeah, you you were tasked with finding the portal and stopping the portal. However, that uh. may be done. Hey, uh, does, any, does anyone... Can you do anything with this body? Does anyone... Should we... Should we keep it? Should we skin it? It's we a could... big freaking bear. How the hell would we keep it? Well, I mean, we I mean... could collect the good parts, I guess. Like the claws and stuff. Would... I don't know anything about this creature. But Marius, so do you know anything? Would... Should we take knife and take its skin off? I personally have no I mean, you use for this. You killed it. Do you not want it? It's carcass a keepsake, like a tooth. It's got some big tooth. Teeth. <laughs> teeth. Uh, I would have no use for this creature. All right. Well, uh, see you later, bear guy. Where are we going now? What? What's the? I don't know where to go. Uh, the, well, the displacer beast were found here, so the portal should be close. Uh, yeah. you know, I, I like look around. Is it? Are these? What is this forest like? Is it? Are we talking like redwood trees with a high canopy? Is it a low canopy? What are we? It's thick? a lo much lower canopy. You have about ten feet before you really hit the canopy. Maybe like twelve or thirteen feet. There are, of course, some lower branches that stick out, but the the general canopy starts around 12 to 13 feet. Or I'm sorry, 10 to 13 feet. Um, the forest is pretty diverse in form of trees. It's not just, you know, it's not one big aspen grove, but you've got some pine here, you got a thingy there, you know, a, a whatchamacallit over here, and lots of underbrush and Shabby. some big rocks. This is kind of a, a rocky hillside that you're on. Where Where is... Uh... <clears throat> It's still light out, right? Mm -hmm. Do I? Do we have any idea what time of day it is? Uh, near evening. <clears throat> You're about an hour away from sundown. Okay. Question. Okay. Were the creatures coming at us from the same direction each time? No. Coming away we fought several groups. You fought several groups. So the the dire not the dire wolves the. Um, uh, displacer beasts you had to actually intercept you moved they were moving uh, across your path and you mo went to fight them then the uh, wargs kind of came from the similar direction of the displacer beasts they were like headed down from the top and you followed them and then you came across this bear like creature just chilling to for lack of a better word in an area like he wasn't moving in a direction so if we were to put that on a map let's say the uh, let's say the forest is shaped like this for lack of a better description if you guys can see that yep mm -hmm. um, and the party who I'm just going to represent with JP's character here uh Ooh, there we go. The party started at about this spot, kind of wandered in, then went down a little bit to get the displacer beasts, and then went this way, found the dire, uh, fought, fought the wargs, then went this way and kind of like fought the bear thingy. And so now you're more or less in this position of the forest. About it's difficult to say, but you would guess that you are not halfway in yet. You're still like entering into the heart of the forest. But you've been more or less finding enemies in this region. Well, that's a terrible. In this region, but headed that way. So you have like kind of a like they are coming. What you've seen has been in the line you've been walking, but maybe if you walked in a different line, you would have run into something else. Uh, you know. Do we know this area to be basic, just a big fucking forest? Like, is there a back yeah. of it that hits a mountain or? Uh, this is a, it used to be a much, much larger forest, but the forest has been hacked to shreds to produce supplies for the war. Uh, wooden for doors, for arrows, you know, for spears, whatnot. 
Okay. Uh, so the the size of the forest you're not even sure of anymore. Okay. It, it's shrunk a lot in the last seventy year in the last forty years. God. Always with the dicks, <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> I know. Jasper Rednickel. I know. It's if someone is is actually just using my color and laughing right now about it on the Skype call, Ryan. Oh, that's impossible. No one could Grow do that. up, Ryan. Okay, come on. It's... Can't use another color than yours. Everyone yeah. knows that. I guess my so. Shit's, my shit's red, so I don't know what you're talking I about. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <clears throat> Leia, do you know what the portal would look like? What we should be looking for? No. I have no idea, actually. Um, and I'm also kind of low on spells in terms of combat spells and actually searching spells as well. If you need help getting to sleep. <laughs> That's funny. I knew a guy who actually told me that once. We ended up having sex. Interesting. Uh, as you say that, I just like put my visor down. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> So, do you guys just want to keep going, or should we just rest and then keep going? I think we should continue the way we've been traveling. Is anyone injured? I am completely fine. Uh, I think... Vortech, are you looking a little shit? How are you doing? I'm pretty fucked up. Yeah, we. I don't... I, I, I think we should rest, to be honest. I agree with the little man. Thank you. Okay. He's you little guys... in body, but he's got, you know, a big heart. I, I do. I was told it's big for my body. So you guys make camp and rest. Uh, you take watches between you. You're all fairly experienced warriors in one capacity or another. So we don't have to worry about that stuff. Is there anything in particular you would like to do while preparing for camp tonight or just standard camping procedure? No, I sent you my spell, so as long as I get the rest, I get that, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> I would like okay. to sing a song about the forest, Neil, but I'm not. I'm just going to make the roll because it's a stupid okay. roll. So we'll see how this Christmas. goes. Oh, I fucked Wow, that's roll. a really good song. There you go, 13. Yeah, it's always going to be bad. <laughs> it, it, man, this song, it... it it's not necessarily a bad song. It's just that with the dwarven accent singing in common, you can't understand anything. Like, even if those of you that speak dwarven, you can't understand what he's saying. The accent just gets like slurred, and you keep thinking you hear what something about boobs, and you get distracted. But you, you can't be talking about boobs because he's singing about the forest. Like, what little bits you do get in here? There's there's definitely forest stuff, but you're mostly confused and perplexed as to what the hell he was trying to do. Yep. But the me melody of it, it's not that bad. That's good. That's good. And anyway. then I just sleep. All right. You guys all go to sleep. Womp, womp, womp. Um, your rest is uneventful, and you wake up the next morning. Pack up your camp. Put out any fires. Dump water on them to make sure that you don't cause a forest fire because Smokey reminded you not to as a child. Only you could prevent forest fires. I'm going to cast a Cure Moderate Wounds on myself, which is D10 Ten. plus 1. Sir. 9. Nice. Six. Okay. I feel much better. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Wh M Marius, where would you like to go? Or anyone? Not just Marius. I guess the party. We have uh, we have found several creatures continuing on this path. I think we should keep going this way. Perhaps they're being spit out of this portal. Oh, okay, that's a... Uh, yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. So that way, and I kind of point the... I point to the east. Although I guess I wouldn't know that's the east, or would I know? I can tell by the way of the sun, right? Yeah. Yeah, I point to the east. Because the sun is rising, you know, it's pretty easy right now to find which way is which. Right, right. And we're not on horseback, so I guess I just start walking and then hopefully the party follows. <clears throat> cool. So you all start heading in this direction. Can I get perception checks from the whole party? Ooh, do I have a check? 30. Your perception's 8. I have direction sense. Oh. Not useful here. Perception. Oh. 
23. What is my perception? It is... Eight. Just, oh, yeah, that's right. I've only got the one eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've only got one eye. 22 anyways. Yeah. Okay. As you guys are walking through the forest, Marius and Leia hear this the sound of we, uh, beating wings, but they're a little bit louder than you would expect from birds. And you look up and you see this large black winged creature pass overhead just momentarily. You're you know underneath these trees, so there's not a lot of openings between the canopy to see out, but you do see dark wings <sighs> pass over you. How, so best, how long is the wingspan? I, uh, idea why, or I guess best guess? <clears throat> it's hard to tell. It was only there for an instant. Oh. Could be three feet, could be ten feet. Okay. I feel like with mine and Leia's rolls, we could at least make a guess as to what the creature was. Uh, you noticed a l kind of shiny, leathery black hide and large wings, but it was only there for a moment. <clears throat> Neil, they noticed this, but in the midst of that, I'm telling my story. Have I ever told you the story of Elric Frederick? Quiet. Quiet. Yes, of course. I'll tell you the story up, later. Up above. Perhaps Wait, no, I want to hear the story. What? A, a, a gigantic creature just flew overhead. Marius, don't it's interrupt. He was hide. telling a story. He's telling a story, Marius. <laughs> I, I understand, but our safety is paramount here. <laughs> well, what if the story has some useful information in it? That, that's our safety, too. I, I can assure you it may be quite interesting, but it will not provide any safety for us. Well, then what... We then we kill that fucking big ass bear with wings. Yeah, he shot Sorry, it. He dead. Shot it. We did, however, this creature looks to be far larger. Perhaps more dangerous as well. Oh, that's not good. Which way was it going? We should head the opposite direction. It was uh heading which way, Neil? Uh east by northeast. So the same way we were going, essentially. Yeah, I, th okay. I think I saw a portal back that way, guys. I point the opposite direction. It is uh, it is traveling basically the same way we are, but uh, it appears to have passed us. It's moving much quicker. Oh, okay. So you don't think it's... We're... Okay. We should continue on, but uh, be very alert at all times. Okay. Well, I can't look up that well, so I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Neil, is there a still pool of water nearby? No. Okay, never mind then. You could find one if you really wanted to, or you could make one. But uh, It's going to take too long, I think. Okay. Alright. So I guess let's just keep heading this way and be careful. Yeah, but the, the uh, please, Voitech, the story. As we're going. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Frederick! God damn this accent. Um, <laughs> you see, he liked his knives. Yeah, I'm completely tilted on the accent. One second. Uh, you gonna take our lives? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I practiced before the show. I have to, get to get calibrate. It, like, you have to, man. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I practice before every show in order to have my accent, you know. Yep. The yeah. French Canadian one? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually American. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's the biggest secret of roleplay. He liked his knives and uh, he would flip them about this way and that. And uh, we always would say, Frederick, you gotta chop your fucking dick off with those knives one day. And he said, Did he, no, Did he do it? He chopped his fucking dick off with you... his knives. Wouldn't you know it? I, I point to, or I look at Morris and I'm just like nodding really. <laughs> Really good. And uh, his name is Frederick, but we, we took the calling him No Dick, if you get it. It's not Frederick anymore. It's No Dick. No Dick. <laughs> what? Why like, are, name? What I, No Dick? I, why are all As you guys are saying this, you come past some bushes and you notice this dim blue glowing portal in front of you that is it's basically like a circle of blueness that's kind of like waving and oscillating. If you look at the map... You will see it where I ping. I may only have one eye, but I believe that's the portal. Wait, we're on a different page, I think. I don't see the page. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> I didn't move you guys, did I? There you go. Ooh. Uh, the, the lake-looking thing? Yeah. 
Hey, Alvin. Neil, you told me there was no still body of water. <laughs> There's that over there. <laughs> that's the portal. <laughs> and I think you should also be able to move, uh, select and move your characters, fingers crossed. I can't. How do you? you? I don't you even should... see characters. Down They're at the bottom, at the bottom side. 20MI. Am, am I the uh, axe guy? What? Uh, how far away? No, are you're, the, we... you're the cleric. You're the one with the cape. Oh, oh, my guy looks shit. sick, though. Yeah. <laughs> are, we, I... are we 55 feet away from that? Yeah. Okay. It's not that big. It's, I mean, it, it is waving, but at greatest, it's probably eight feet in any given direction, and at the smallest point, it's probably three feet in any direction. But the <sighs> sides like fluctuate and come on in and out and in and out. Do we have a fucking clue how to close that? Probably <sighs> smash it or something. That's what you well, do with most magic stuff. That's I have a spell that I can try on it, but I have no idea if it's going to work, and I don't think it's going to lock it forever, so I'm not sure if it's useful after all. Mm -hmm. I could try to cast it on it, see what it does. We, uh... <clears throat> you know, I, like, looked a little bit closer. Do we see anything coming in or out of it? Nothing seems to be coming in or out of it, but as you guys are standing there discussing what to do, you hear this shriek as you look up to the sky and see one of these black winged creatures diving down towards you. Its skin is shimmering, not shimmering, but reflective and very uh, solid. Kind of like um, if you shaved a cow and then lathered it up, like a shaved bald. So the skin like has a slight reflection of the light. It's dark. Uh, it's about The wings are about 10 feet long. It has this long, smooth tail that comes out from underneath of it and two sharp talon claws on its hind legs. Its front legs are uh, enveloped in the wings, but also have claws coming out. Like, the wings come out to the, its elbows, and then it has parts that come down. Two horns stick out of the top of its head, and this creature dives down straight at... straight at you, JP. Hold on. Qu quick question. Yes. Is it not... It, so it's bo flying below the canopy? No, no, no. It was flying above the canopy, and you hear the shriek as it dives down through right. an opening. So it's going to get surprised from hundreds of feet in the air. Uh, what makes you say it was hundreds of feet in the air? Isn't that an well, assumption? You said the, the canopy is like 100-something, right? I said the canopy is 10 to 13 feet above your head. Some short-ass trees. All right. <laughs> that, no, the canopy is like the lower part of the... Okay. Yeah, 10 to 13 feet is pretty reasonable for a tree, right? It's pretty short. <laughs> Quite I don't short. Know. I, if, when I go outside, most of the trees are about that tall. Or there's have there's no trees in there. California, Neil. I'm sorry to. Well, at least there's not. no trees in California. <laughs> no, you, you have shrubs or plants. Oh, okay. There's no actual trees. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> My whole perception's been off. Anyway, this creature dives at you, JP, uh, trying to reach out, reaching out at you with both of its back talons. Oh, uh, what is your armor class, my friend? Nineteen. 19. I don't. Oh, that's right. You're all nineteen, except for Leah. Who's thirty? Yeah, ten. Who's ten? Hi. Uh, one claw scrapes against your armor as the other one digs deeply into your shoulder okay. for eight damage. All right. And the creature, uh, like, tries to it. It actually lands on your shoulders ever so briefly. Not enough to stop, but like it comes down as if it was trying to grab you by your shoulders and pick you up. The one just slips off of it. The other one grabs into your shoulder, starts pulling some of your armor, and then releases as you Can I? Can grass. I make any actions as it flies off? Not attacks, uh, but I just want to grab it and pull it down. No, you were totally taken by surprise here. Okay. Um, so it flies away after it does this? Yes. I will shoot it in the back. We will roll initiative. Uh, single or, or group? Uh, let's, yeah, let's do individual. Okay. So uh, this thing is now fleeing in the air? Fleeing, moving in one direction. I don't but, know. But he's in the air, right? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's in the air underneath the canopy for the moment. Okay. But. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> that, let's do that. Nice. Too bad that doesn't fucking matter. Getting all the ones out of the way. Okay. Nine, five, and ten, and five. So the fives go first. Marius. Marius and Jasper. Are we shooting this thing in the back? Yep. Okay. 
And is he point blank range? Yes, he is within 30 yards of you. Perfect. This is my attack. That'll be a 27 with the back attack. Back attack. That is a hit. Actually, that clears by 10. That is a crit. Can you crit at a 13? Yes, but it has to clear by 10. I hear. All right, so 70, 70, I think it is. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you rolling? 2d8 plus 1? 2d8 plus 2? Uh, let me. This is a test, and this is not a real roll. It's uh, d two d eight plus four is what it would be. Okay, cool. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> I, I fat fingered the Whoa! five. Whoa! So there you go. Six. Is so nineteen. Thirteen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you strike it uh, in the back hind quarters. Saving throw is a pass. I'm just recording a damage. Um, so you strike it, and Marius? I'm sorry, not Marius. Uh, Jasper? I can't make a melee attack on it, right? No, it is... Uh, actually, no, yeah, it's beyond your melee range. You could chase after it if you want, but by the time you catch up to it, it will already be in I'll, the air. I'll just and you're take... also really short. Yeah, yeah. I made a roll for a melee weapon, so I'll just hold action if it comes anywhere close to us. That's fine. And yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll also position myself to where I'm at least in front of the party. But like, I'll put myself in between the thing and the party, if that okay. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then we have Voitech. I, uh, I right in my hand, and then I Hadouk in my hand up at it and cast... Uh, Random causality is what it's called, I believe. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay, it gets a saving throw, which it passes. Sounds reasonable. Sounds reasonable. Um, and Leia, you go at the Hang same time. Let me look it up. I don't know if you actually get it. Yeah, you do. Saving throw to negate. Well, you go ahead. I'll yell at you if you're wrong. Cool. That actually sounds like a perfect plan. Leia, you go at the same time as this black-winged creature. All right. Uh, lightning bolt. Okay. You point, get your lightning bolt spell perfect, and cast it. Roll for damage, and I will roll saving throw. 23. Which, God, it's rolling fantastic. Passes its saving throw again. So it gets half? 11 damage. God, if only you could make attack rolls like that. Your lightning bolt shocks and fries it, and the creature, as it starts to like gain altitude to go above the trees, just gets shot hit by this lightning bolt and twists in the air and comes like sliding, gliding, not crashing, but gliding back to the earth. Um, over on the other side of the portal. And but as it's on the ground now. Yeah, it's on the ground now. Is that the uh, first time that You've casted that in, uh, no. in, no. in front of us? Okay. All right. Never mind. Uh, and Isn't it at the wargs or something? Or I don't know. The no. displacer beasts last time? After it lands, you notice running on its two hind legs, not very quickly. You could. It's slower than a dwarf. Comes from around some bushes and a rock. Another one of these creatures. It's still pretty far from you. I'd say like 30 feet, 60 feet, 60 feet. And it spits this <laughs> green globulous crap that flies your way. Uh, Voitech, please make me a saving throw versus breath weapon. Okay. That's going to be a fail. It's a fail? Okay. This green, sticky, smelly stuff lands on you, dealing you... Oh, 13... 16 damage as it okay. starts to eat into your face or into your arm and armor. Slightly. It's funny how every time I could just be dead. Give me a saving throw for damage. Uh, for uh, an acid saving throw for your equipment. Roll a d20. I'm looking up with the acid. Uh, 13 or higher. Oh, 11. Nope. Oh, God. All right, so your three-quarter plate mail starts being eaten away by the acid. It is not ruined, but its AC is effectively reduced by two until you can get it repaired. Okay. 
Um, and that's that round. Initiative. Second attack for me. Second attack. <clears throat> Call. How uh, how far has he flown? You said just above the canopy, right? Yeah, well, then he crashed back down after it got hit by the lightning bolt. So he's close. Yeah, he's 76 feet away from you. Okay. Uh, is he? Do we still have the advantage of back attack for this? No, he has turned to face you at the end of his round. 31? 31 is a hit. 31 does clear by 10. Uh, does not clear by 20, though, so double damage. Okay. But it's a natural 30. 19. It's yeah. Clear oh, by yeah, 20. no, you're actually right. Double natural 19, so it clears by 10. does not clear by 15, so add another D6, D8 in there. 19 so damage. 19 damage. Your arrow pierces straight through its breast, uh, its breast, and the creature <laughs> flops out onto the ground with this bluish color uh, fluid oozing out of it. This is the first one that we saw? This one? Yes. Now we roll initiatives. It looks like it's dead? Oh, uh, it looks like it's dead. Okay. Um, what's the casting time on whoops. light? I didn't mean to roll that. That's my roll. There it is. Four? Okay. <clears throat> Neil, is there... Is this a tree? Is what The brown things are trees. Yes. Okay. All right. Um... Seven, nine, fourteen, thirteen. Okay, seven goes first. Light in its eyes. Damn it, the Leia. One right? Okay. It's fine. We, there's just one left, right? Like, it's safety. Yeah. You can't do two saving throws, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Spell. You say and, that. Yeah, well, okay. I figured even though you were doing it, it would be smart. No, no, it's fine. If yeah, someone lends it... We're going to be good. <laughs> yeah. It does indeed fail at saving throw, and its eyes are ablaze with glowing light. Double light it, Jeff. Yep. Well, no. Um, nine is gonna... Voitech, which goes at the same time as the eye-lighted creature. Who? Voitech, make your action. Uh, seeing that Leah blinded it, I'm going to... The sword is the same. It's just plus four. I'm going to rip out my sword and go to slash at it. Okay. You run. You bolt at this thing. Running as fast as you can. Sword in hand. Slicing at the creature. Roll to hit. Which I believe is... I'm sorry to ask us to do this again. It was plus... Okay, so it's blind. So what's my bonus there? Um, it gets a penalty to its armor class. That's it? So Yeah, I mean, it's a penalty of four. I could give you a plus four to hit and not adjust its armor class, or I could reduce its armor class by four. It doesn't matter. So no, D20 that's fine. plus three. I'm just plus three, I think, right? Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Your sword strikes home, hitting the creature for... And it's large? It's a large-sized creature. Are you so using D12. a sword now, not an axe, by the way? Yeah, the sword is better. Okay. Uh, D12 is for large, right? Mm-hmm. And plus nothing, or is it plus three? Plus nothing. Eleven damage. Holy crap! You strike it for eleven. Okay. You fucking spat at me. <laughs> Slash at it. Okay, that's that. Uh, da, 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 da. That's nine on nine. Uh, as you do that, you know you get up to the creature and slash at it. It rears back, hissing at you, and jumps backwards and starts flapping its wings away from you, trying to break out into the canopy, but it can't see shit. Attack of opportunity? So... Yeah, opportunity attack. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Do I get a bonus? Uh, no. Surprise! <laughs> 21, Neil. Oh, God. You hit, you clear by 10, you double crit, d 2 d two. are you... Clear by 5, yes, you mean? No, if you do clear by 10 with its blindedness, it actually has... Yeah, but you rolled an 18, so it should be 5. Right, so, yeah, so 3d12 damage. What the fuck? <laughs> Takes 30 damage. <laughs> Holy shit, this creature <laughs> starts to leaps away fuck? from you, and you just get fuck your sword, you. and you run it straight through the creature's chest. Freaking Jeff, all the way up to the, the hilt. Hell? Your rolls the, are ridiculous. The black-winged creature tumbles to the ground. Um, so dead. with acid still like burning on my armor, I turn mm -hmm. to the party and I say, I think I fucking killed it. I think it's dead. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Your the momentary relief over this creature's death is abated by this another one of these black winged creatures diving down from below, scrabbing at uh, not Tariq Marius, and it grabs you with both of its claws. Marius, Marius, there's another one of those big fucking black things on you. <laughs> For thirteen damage, the claws sink into your shoulders, and what is your Weight plus the weight of your equipment. Um, okay. Um, my equipment weighs 68. I weigh... Actually, I haven't given myself a weight. Let's just make it 500 for the purpose of, like... Yeah. How much do you weigh? Super large. Um, I'm 6'2". Uh, I'll weigh 195. Okay. So the creature grabs deeply into your shoulders and starts beating its wings, and you feel your feet lifted off the ground as its talons dig ever deeper into your shoulders. Um, and by the end of its movement, you are above the... Well, you're partway up the canopy of trees. Um, give me initiative as you are being dragged off. For everyone, right? Yeah, for everyone. Neil, I don't get a, do I well, know how much damage... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about... JP's turn. Can I, well, I can't attack this thing, can I? No. He was too far away from you. Can so I, I... I did a plus four, but since it's at the end of the round, can I use a crossbow? Yeah, also, I sure. didn't get my attack for that turn. I, I don't know how it works, because Jeff killed that one, but then the new one came. Yeah, I just forgot to take yours and Jeff's turns. I thought this creature was going last. We'll, we'll take okay. your turns. So you switch to a crossbow. You pull it out. Yeah, sorry. Aim... At the creature, it is beyond the, above the canopy, so I'm going to give it cover. So a penalty of four to hit because of the 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 trees blocking the branches blocking your view. Okay. Eight. Uh, what is, so what is that? Fourteen. Fourteen is a hit, actually. Oh. You strike it with your crossbow. And it's large. Yes. Eight. Eight damage. The creature shrieks in pain and drops uh, our friend. Marius from a feet of from about twenty feet up. Marius, you know, when you when you break both your legs, like story wise, how do we? Uh... <laughs> we there, there's Marius wheels. the torso was born on the day. <laughs> Marius, be wheelbarrowed six, around by Leah. Damage. Six falling, six falling damage. Can I? Yeah. Can okay. So what what did I get from the claws the first time you said thirteen? Think you said Shouldn't 13. he get like a dex check or something to have yeah, that or anything? Uh, if he has a tumbling proficiency, yeah, then yeah. he can try and break its. Yeah, he didn't break set it. on that either. He weighs forty-five pounds and he has a tumbling proficiency. It's fine. Um, I do not have that. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes you know you just you're falling. There's there's not much you can do about it. Whether you land on your hands or your feet or your head, well, let's hopefully not land on your head. But the dice represent how how badly yeah. you land. Understand. I need the info to do my initiative, Neil. Uh, okay. Do I, like, do I, can I see its eyes? Like, is it not? No, you cannot see its eyes. So I couldn't use light on it, right? No. Okay. Uh, what do you, uh, but it's not your turn. It is just oh, okay. uh, Ryan's turn because he didn't get a chance to finish. Okay. So okay. you're finally dropped by this creature and you're no longer in this space. Actually, you are now, uh, you've been dragged and you're over here. And the creature is flying, you know, in this direction. Okay. Um, he should be point blank then, yeah? Yeah. And he's flying uh, that way, so I'll get a back attack. He's also above... Uh, you're more or less directly below him now. A little bit, but... Yeah, I guess I'll give you the back attack. I guess I should have given JP the back attack too, but he hit anyway. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have been a crit. He is beyond so. the trees, so you're going to get a minus four to hit for the trees being in your way. You can still spot them when you're looking for them, though. So it'll just be a minus two for back attack and then the yeah. trees. Okay. Uh, so 26. 26 is a hit and a clear by 10. <clears throat> Isn't it 16 to 20 for his variants? Yeah, 16 oh, is my crit. 16 master. is my crit. Yeah. Cool. So then triple damage, 3d8 plus 4. My god, Marius. 18. 18. Very nice. Okay, you strike the creature for 18 damage with a, an arrow. It screams in pain as it flies, and I think you get a second attack at the end of the round. I do. 
Uh, 27. <laughs> is another hit. Uh, you do... 16 yeah, is his crit. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> oh, and Neil, it should have rolled for death anyways, too. Yeah, it, it dies. It dies. 19 damage. Get wrecked. And it goes, <laughs> drops in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never fucked with you. Uh, so I see Marius close to this portal now. Yes. It is, you already made your turn action this round, though, right? Oh, yeah. We're not free action? No, we're not free action yet. Okay. And another creature comes in. Uh, yeah, I, no. did, I did make it. But out of the portal steps a man wearing mm -hmm. brown robes. Uh, very so plain get... brown robes. We don't get so our I turn. didn't get to do any action out of any of this. Yeah. You, you cast light this round, Jen. That was still the same no, round. We just didn't. Yeah, that roll. was the really? same round. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It was okay. that round. Yeah. yeah, all the same round. Yep. Um, right. A brown robed man steps out of the portal. If you guys would like to roll for initiative, you can, or you can enter free action, depending on how you perceive this man stepping out of this portal. How would his face look? Uh, yeah. His well, actually, you're close enough to see him really well. You're. Yeah, you're yeah we ten, wouldn't. If, the rest I'm of saying this what what expression? What if I had to guess what uh, emotion he was feeling right now? What would I say? Peace and calmness. Peace. Yeah. Okay, what does he what does he look like, Neil? Describe him for us. Brown robes. Brown robes. Wearing a D. That's all, that's all he's wearing. It's a brown robes with a brown belt, like a knotted belt that ties together. Yeah. He looks kind of like a monk or an abbot or something. You don't see any pouches dangling from his waist. He's got nothing on him other than his brown robes. His hands are folded together with the sleeves crossing over. Um, this wear? may not seem like it's important, but can you roll for hotness? That's always it's gonna it's gonna really matter like how I react to this guy okay well i already rolled for initiative hotness 13 however jp is it time yeah yeah we can take a break here is he human by the way he looks human but could be a half elf his ears are hidden by his cloak gotcha or his okay. cool we'll find out uh who this guy is right after this quick break so we'll see you guys uh, in just a bit thanks everyone for watching